Alliance, you ready? Thank you, Blue Alliance, are you guys ready? All righty. Let's see, autonomous in three, two, one. Oh, sorry, now three, two, one, there we go. You updated the app on me, so now I don't know where any of the buttons are. Right, that's gonna bring the autonomous bonus to red because red put their preload in. Driver control in three, two, one, go. Red is now on their back, still able to drive a little bit. Blue Alliance continuing to throw tri across the field. Thirty second bell and the elevation is now protected. Results coming soon. All right, good morning parents and coaches and teammates. Thank you all so much for being here this morning. This is our third Freiburg Academy tournament that we've had. Still very much learning how to do it right, um, but we're very, very thankful to have all of you and all of your students here. We're gonna try to keep the pace moving throughout the day, but it is very much a learning tournament. So um, if any of you get bored, and you would like to assist on anything, we always need volunteer help. Uh, you can come find me or anybody else who looks like they know what they're doing. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy. And hopefully, we'll have some really good matches for everyone today.
right then. After a brief technical delay. All right. Bright Alliance, you guys ready? Ready? Okay, well, you have, you have four people up here. You need three. You have four people. I need three people up here. One of you got to go back to the stands. All right. Ready on blue. You guys ready? Freiburg, you ready? You need a thumbs up. Right. Are you audience member? Can you go back over towards the stands, please? Thank you. All right. Now, match two, ready to go in three, two, one, go. All righty. I guess nobody has an autonomous. I understood. Nobody has autonomous. It's going to be it's going to be a tie because nobody put the try balls in. That's an autonomous tie. Driver control in three, two, one, go. That big Freiburg robot over there is dragging their air tank around. That's kind of expensive. And over in the corner here, they have both blue robots. So in this case, the Blue Alliance uh, goal is open to be de-scored. They are currently double zoned. A couple slow moving robots going around here. <laughs> After the 30 second buzzer, elevation is now protected. Let's see if anybody goes for an elevation here. Doesn't look like it at the moment. And Red Row looks like it might have gotten itself stuck around the goal. They're currently in their opponent's goal, but they are double zoned, so they're allowed to be in there. They have battery, battery dangling from Blue Lions Robot. That's the end of this match. Grab your robots, let's reset the field.
Red Alliance, you guys ready? Glasses on your face, I can see them on your head, not on your eyes. Your glasses, thank you, for first. All right, Blue Alliance, you guys ready? I need a thumbs up from Freiburg. Ready? All right, here we go. Ready in three, two, one, go. Carnus period begins, we have a blue tie ball scored. And since that's the only color tri ball in the field currently, the autonomous bonus is gonna go to blue. Grab the control in three, two, one, go. All four robots come to life. Our blue line is catapulting tri balls across the field with a teammate immediately putting it right in the goal. That's good teamwork there. 7831D seems to only be able to spin in a circle. Oh no, they can drive. Guys, this is an all Yarmouth versus Freiburg and Monmouth team team battle here. Monmouth continuing to throw tri balls across the field. Seventy eight thirty one D seems to have lost power to one of their motors, and they seem to be circling around it again. All the other robots seem to be moving as good as they can. <laughs> That's our 30 second buzzer. Elevation is now protected. Seventy what, 31 D. Oh, no, they're back to life. the end of our match. We'll score this up and move on to the next one. All right, move over here to match number four. There we see two Freiburg teams, one Yarmouth team and one Thetford Academy team. All right, Blue Alliance, you guys ready? 
All right. Red Alliance, are you guys ready? Uh, Thetford's ready. Freiburg, you ready? Twenty thousand five B, you ready? Ready to go? Ready as it ever be? <laughs> okay. Well, all right. There we go. Autonomous in three, two, one, go. Good autonomous. Let's see. The tie in autonomous. Control in three, two, one, go. All four robots are alive. Got a lot of wings going on in this match. Some power, some pneumatic. Some rubber banded. It's like 7831H has a tri ball in their arm, but their arm is digging into the ground, making sure they make it so they cannot drive. Not dead, it's just stuck. And both robots are double zoning, so both goals are open. And it's currently not double zoned. Oh, now they're double zoned again. Red Alliance now match loading. All right, my friend, I need you to place those on the robot, not drop. And we go to the end of our match in two, one. That's the end of that match. All right, here, as we move over to match number five. All right, it looks like we're just about ready to go here. I see four of you, need three of you. Thank you. All right, here we go. Let's see. Red Alliance, you guys ready? Monmouth, you ready? Okay. Blue Alliance, you guys ready? Not ready? All 
Okay, blue lines, ready? I need a confirmation of the team here. You guys ready? I, it's gonna it's gonna keep blinking because your battery is low. It's just gonna happen. I need you to be plugged in, please. Thank you. Okay, anyway, we're gonna go. All right, autonomous period begins in three, two, one, go. There's one red robot coming to life. Scoring a tri ball on their goal. And that's gonna win them the autonomous period unless something happens in the last second here. Which it did not, autonomous bonus is gonna go to red. Driver control, three, two, one, go. All four robots come to life. Monmouth is kicking a tri ball right back out of the field at themselves. They've got a really interesting like swing kicking arm, which is certainly unique. And they've got the mechanics drive so they can swerve. And they punt one across the center bear. Got a blue robot stuck up here. That's 7831B. Been freed by Thetford. Thetford promptly goes and runs straight into a wall. Mom is trying to kick some more tri balls across the center barrier. That thing is honestly scary when that goes up to speed. I'm glad I'm over here. 7831J is scoring some tri balls. 7831B looking to line up and knock some tri balls onto their side. Bedford ramming some tri balls, almost getting into the goal. And last 30 seconds, the elevation now is now protected. Monmouth now just hammering our wall. Thank you for that. This is a dented, and I'm blaming you. Turn down to end of match in two, one. That's the end of this match. We'll score it up and move on. Let's get ready to go for match number six. All right, let's get ready to go. Blue Alliance, you guys ready? 
Maybe a thumbs up from you guys. What? I didn't ask you guys, I was asking them. Come on, Matt, are you guys ready? Okay, thank you. Red, Red Alliance York team, are you ready? Cool. You ready? I know, I know you're not ready, I get it. I get it. Wait and give, give that for a quick second to get their robot paired, it looks like. All right, let's get ready to go here from rush number six. Blue lines, you still ready? All right, red lines, you ready? All right, cool. Ready to go in three, two, one for autonomous period. We see three robots that come to life. Check and let's see what is scored over here. Like that one, actually in. This red one is not. That blue one looks like it's in. So, the blue one being scored, that's going to bring the autonomous period, excuse me, autonomous bonus to the blue alliance. Driver control in three, two, one, go. All four robots come to life, driving tribals into their goal. Stanford Academy knocking some tribals across the field. That's the most efficient we've seen that so far. Blue Alliance trying to run some defense. One, two, that was trapping call there on blue against red. Blue going under red's goal, which they shouldn't be doing. It's one, two. Another trapping call, this time blue against red. That's a 30 second bell. And one, two. Not necessarily, but.
right, we'll score up the score of this match and we'll carry on. All right, as we move over here to match number seven, we have two Mama teams, a Thetford team and a Yarma team. All right, let's see here. Blue Alliance, you guys ready? All right. Red Alliance, you guys ready? Red Alliance, I need to stand a little further that way. Thank you. All right. We got set here for match number seven in the autonomous period. In three, two, one, go. The two, lo two robots come to life. And blue scoring a try ball. Which looks like that's going to give them the autonomous period bonus. So the autonomous bonus goes to blue. Driver control. Three, two, one, go. All four robots now come to life. Our Yarma team playing defense against Thetford. They've gotten themselves hooked with their intake there. I don't think that was intentional. Oh, man, there goes our band. While I was distracted, a retro was now on its back. There's a tribal rolling away. Come back. Please don't walk away with the tribal. Is that the one that came from our field? Are you the one you're walking away with? I see you walking away. Is that yours or is that ours? That's yours? Okay. I couldn't tell. All right, I see one tri ball in blue. One tri currently going to blue right now in terms of tri balls and goals. That's a 30 second buzzer. Elevation is now protected. Got to stay away from those bars. Everybody's given up. Oh, it looks like the Yarmouth robot has died. I'm not sure what just happened there. Looks like the, the screen is not on, so it looks like a battery might have died there. That's going to be the end of our match. We'll score that up and we'll continue on. On to qualification match number eight.
having the robot on is important. All right, Red Alliance, you guys ready? You're blue, I didn't ask you. <laughs> Red Alliance, you guys ready? I have no thumbs up. Red Alliance, Freiburg, Yarmouth, you ready? Ready? All right, perfect. Glasses on your face, please. They're on your head, not on your eyes. Thank you. All right, going to Blue Alliance, you guys ready? Right down there? All right, perfect. We'll get our autonomous period started here in three, two, one, go. I see one robot moving, however, it's driving towards the wall currently. Oh, there it goes. Oh, back to the wall. Actually, gonna go to, looks like it's going to go to blue because there is one tri ball on the field for blue. Therefore, it's going to go to the blue alliance. Just one second. This field needs to be fixed. All right. Carrying on. Start our control in three. Two, one, go. All four robots are alive. Such a cool method of getting those across the field. There's a battery dang on the field. It looks like it came unplugged. That's one of our Red Alliance robots had a ceased movement because their battery is unplugged. As we come towards our 30 second bell. I was early on the gun there. All right. Elevation now protected. You should try and stay away from those bars of your opponent's elevation zone if possible. Still getting tri balls slowly punted over the field. They are a little bit stuck, and at the end of our match. All right. Score this up and carry on. Moving over to match number nine.
All right, here we are for match number nine. Let's get ready to go. You, sir, I need you to stand on the other side, your side of the field. All right, Blue Alliance, are you guys ready? You ready? Firebrig, you ready? You ready? All right. Ready over here in red? You guys ready? Not ready? Ah, being plugged in is important. You guys ready, Freiburg? I need you to just come stand on your side of the field. Thank you. I don't know names yet. Also, glasses on your face, Freiburg. Thank you. All right, here we go. Autonomous period in three, two, one, go. A one robot comes to life. Unfold the wings, doing a little spin. Well, this is going to end up being a tie since nobody put any tri balls in. That's a tie in autonomous. Driver control, three, two, one, go. Uh, please get your pump out of the field. Thank you, sir. Oh, well, I looked away for two seconds and a robot's on his back. How did this happen? Literally two seconds and it's over. I don't, oh, wait, it might get back up. It's trying. It's currently flopping around like a fish, but we're gonna get there. Not a whole lot of movement going on. There goes Thetford over the center bar. The red line scoring a try ball. Here comes Blue to try and counter that. They score two, three, four try balls. There goes Fryer trying to th throw some try balls across that center barrier. There goes Thetford scoring some more. That red robot's still on its back, <laughs> trying to get back up. There's our 30 second minute. Red, red robot, get away from that uh, blue, blue, blue bar. You're not supposed to touch that. And another try ball for blue. Red robot's still trying to get up on its wheels again. As we come down to the final seconds here, there's the end of our match. We'll score those if we carry on. Go for match number 10. We're going to get ready to go here. So. Looks like our Blue Alliance is ready. Blue Alliance, are you guys ready? 
Other, other Thetford drove out. Are you ready? I say, I say you guys. Are you guys ready? Okay. Red line. So you ready? Okay. More or less is better than no. You ready? Okay. Perfect. Alrighty. In that case, Connor's period begins in three, two, one, go. Our blue alliance comes to our life. They get one try ball scored. Looks like that's actually going to be a win point there. They've got their try ball out of their goal. They've got a try ball in the goal, and they're touching this elevation bar. And just like that, that's the Tarnas win point, and the winner, Tarnas bonus, also goes to blue. Driver control. Three, two, one, go. All four robots come to life now. Set for shooting more tribals across the field. The teammate knocking them in. Red scoring a tri ball there as well. Red robot better stay out of that blue goal. A lot of try balls moving. And Thetford got themselves stuck on a try ball in the corner here. No wheels touching the ground, it looks like. Oh, they're stuck with some loops. They're back. They're moving again. Thetford is now double zoned. Their goal is open. And they're not double zoned anymore. <laughs> There's our autonomous, not autonomous, elevation. The battery is now dangling off. Thetford now carrying around the armor school. Not the school, the robot, the armor robot. They're back down. Battery is still dangling, still connected somehow. And we have elevation, but that's not the right bar. That's really cool of you, but that's the wrong bar. That was the first elevation today. However, it was on the blue elevation bar, which is not any points for you. They got no points. It's the wrong bar. So. Of this match, and we'll go carry on. All right, as we move on mat toward match number 11, we have uh, all the Yarmouth, not Yarmouth, Monmouth, I, excuse me, all Monmouth Blue Alliance versus York and Yarmouth. All right, Blue Alliance, you guys ready? All right. Red Alliance, you guys ready? Perfect. All righty. Let's see. Preloads in the field. That's rare. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Starting qualification match number 11. Connor's period. Jake, get your hand off the wall. Three. Jake, hand off the wall. <laughs> Jake, you're not listening to me. Hey, Jake. Jake. Hand off the wall, please. Thank you. <laughs> I have a microphone and everything. How come nobody can hear me? All right, starting autonomous period in three, two, one, go. One robot comes to life, scoring a try ball in their goal. No life from the Red Alliance in the autonomous period. That's all right, they'll make it back up in the driver control, they would, they would think. All right, where's the autonomous bonus? It's going to go to the Blue Alliance. Driver control, three, two, one, go. As a master, all four robots come to life. All four robots are now in one tiny corner of the field. And 
Red Alliance scoring some tri balls. They scored one for blue, which doesn't really help them. But you know, they did it, so we'll carry on. Blue Alliance trying to get across that center barrier, they do. And there's pinning going on here. One, two, three. Got to back away. And there's our 30 second bell. Red Alliance here determined to try and pin the Blue Alliance. Now they've gone and pinned themselves. They're pinning a one. That's the end of this match. We'll score it up on carry on. Alrighty, open the scores, match number 10. And we'll move over to match number 12. I see three of our robots. Looks like the fourth one is downloading some code. All right, blue lines. So you guys ready? You guys ready down there? You're almost ready? All right, perfect. All right, Red Alliance. Freiburg, you ready? Ready? All right. So wait in on Monmouth then. Or what is not on the field? The controller is looks like it's getting plugged in now. I need to learn people's names so I can call them out directly. Can I have a robot on the field, please? Please and thank you. Wait on you, Monmouth. All right, Red Alliance, you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? Thank you. All right. You gave me a thumbs up and then you changed to robot. You ready now? Okay, here we go. Qualification 12 in three, two, one, go. Oh my goodness, all four robots moved. Each, each Alliance scoring Tribal and their goal. Going across the bar. Why? Uh, okay, well, that means the Tana's bonus is going to go to the blue alliance because you crossed the line. All right, Tana's bonus goes to you, blue. Driver control. Three, two, one, go. And Monmouth goes back to throwing things across the field. Or straight up in the air in, in case of Team F. So they're going to travel straight from their match load zone all the way into the goal. That was blocked by the Red Alliance. I don't think it was intentional, but they did it. Blue Alliance.
defense now stuck on their own goal. They're caught in the net. What happened here? I uh, know they're just stuck on the base of the goal. And they're freed. And they're double zoned, so their goal is open. And now they're stuck in the goal. Alliance robots stuck in their own goal. Red Alliance trying to get some tri balls across the field. Oh, we have an elevation attempt here by Freiburg. Looks like they've gotten it up. Will it stay at the end of the match? We'll find out. Oh, it looks like it stayed. I mean, they have to use the scoring pole for the first time today. that and move on. Moving on to match number, what is it, 13? 13. 13. Uh, all right. Okay. Oh, and get your candy out of the field. Thank you. Maybe after the match. All right. Let's see here. We have three Yarmouth teams and one York team. Red Alliance is all Yarmouth. Blue Alliance, are you ready? All right. Yarmouth, ready? Perfect. Blue Red Alliance, ready? Okay. I need, I need a thumbs up from you guys down there. Ready? Perfect. All right. Well, let's see here. Looks like we're all set to go. All right. Pound of to begins in three, two, one, go. We have life from two of the robots. Blue Alliance has scored a tri ball. Red Alliance kicked one across the field, not quite getting it into the goal. It means the time this period is going to go to the Blue Alliance. Oh, and get back where you're supposed to stand. All right. Driver control in three, two, one, go. Three robots come to life, four robots come to life. Looks like one of our Yarmouth teams is struggling to move. Oh, and they're going to trap York. One, two, three. Well, now you've got a robot stuck in the air. That was, huh. Get back to where you're supposed to stand. Get Go back over there. Not intentionally. Well, the thing is they can't back up Owen. They're unable to drive currently. You're pinning here. One. That's a 30 second bell. Elevation is now protected. Alliance, you should stop going in their goal. Got to try one. That's the end of our match. All right then. We'll score this up and carry on.
we go. Match number 14. Over on our U main field. I see I see four robots, but two of them are in the same starting zone. A hey, blue alliance. You can't both be in that same zone. One of you's gotta be over here. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, all right. Okay. Blue lines, ready. Probably right, ready. You need glasses on your faces, please. So you guys almost ready? Mom, if you ready? All right. I know, I know, I know, I, I can see, I can see. All right, probably ready to go now. All right. All right. I, Okay, you got four of you up here. You need three of you up here. Probably you got four four team members. You need three team members up here. Only three can be up here. Thank you. All right. All right, if you're up here as a drive team, you got to be on your side. Please don't drag our cords around. Watch your feet. Okay, I'm going to get going here. My phone turned off. Okay. Match number 14. Let's get started here. Three, two, one, autonomous. Two robots come to life. I look like this might be, it's gonna be, uh, hold on, I can't see what this is for. Well, that's actually in the goal with three corners are in. All right. All right, then. That means that this is going to be the autonomous bonus goes to blue. Driver control. Three, two, one, go. is going launching across the field. This robot's on its back again. How did this happen twice? Fryball is going launched across the field by Fryberg Team E. That one actually ended up in the goal. Fryball is continuing to go flying across the field. They're going to use all of their match, so thank you for making our scoring complicated. Oh, one goes out of the field. And one, two, three. As we end the match in five, 
four, three, two, one. That's the match. We'll score this up and we'll carry on with our day. All right, let's move the match on to number 15. As we see here, we have an all, almost all Monmouth match. There's only one Thetford Academy robot on Red Alliance. Monmouth's going to win, and Monmouth's also going to lose. This is how this is going to work. All right. As we get look at our field here, I see four robots. I see four robots connected on our screen here. Blue Alliance, you ready? All right, Red Alliance, ready? Perfect. As we go to our autonomous period in three, two, one, go. I see two robots come to life and each of them scoring the tribal in that goal. Both of them are scored. And I'm telling you, this is still gonna be a tie in autonomous. Alrighty, driver control. Three, two, one, go. See a lot of wings now on this field. From Thetford and Monmouth. Another tribal goes out of the field. With attacking our wall, thank you. They're actually putting marks on our wall, which is Entertaining. There are marks on my wall now. I blame you. All right. Going on, a lot of tire balls in both of these goals. Blue Alliance was temporarily double zoned. That's why you heard the Red Alliance in a hurry. <laughs> Here's our bell for the elevation protection zone. A lot of contact around this blue elevation bar right now. As we come to the end of our match here, All right, let's we'll score this match up and carry on with our day. Reminder to all teams, any of your tri balls that are touching your robot, if it would have been scored for you and it's touching your color robot, it doesn't count anymore. All right, and we'll move now on to match number 16. Let's see here. There's another almost all Yarmouth match. One Freiburg on Blue Alliance changing that up.
looking for 7831B still. We're not on the field. Looks like they're not here, and I don't see any evidence of this team. Oh, wait, that's 7831B there. There they are. I see a robot, and I see a team member. Waiting on you guys. Blue Alliance, you guys ready? Yarmouth, Clipper Ross down there. You ready? I'm not asking you, I'm asking them. You guys ready on blue? Awesome. All right. We'll let Yarmouth get set up. They just got here. I will note we are behind schedule today, so we're trying to get back on schedule. Any help with that would be appreciated. All right. You ready on red? All uh, right, I see ready buttons on my screen. Oh, my phone turned off. Oh, we're good, okay. All right, you guys look like you're ready to me. You guys ready? You are the Red Alliance, you ready? Put your glasses on your face. Thank you. Any glasses down? Thank you. All right. Let me know when you're ready to go and we'll get this match started. Just waiting on you guys. All right, we're going. Autonomous period in three, two, one, go. I had the button, this is the button again. Oh, we got a broken intake over here. Two robots came to life. One spun up and broke its intake. The other one spun in a circle. Hence, nobody put their, oh, no, there's one blue here. We're just going to go to the blue alliance because there's one blue tribal in the field. All right, carrying on. Go out of control. Three, two, one, go. I see three robots that have come to life. 7031B not quite moving yet. Looks like they're connected and all that. Maybe they chose the wrong program. Not sure. Oh, they're moving. There we go. All right. All four robots now alive and well. So the blue alliance is trying to score some more in their goal. Red alliance getting themselves a little bit stuck over there. carry on. Uh, the Red Alliance currently is double zoned. If there were anything under that goal, they'd be able to knock it out. Blue would. I just like that there's one. Blue can knock it out if they want because red is double zoned. Oh, I don't know if any blue robots can actually reach that. There's our 30 second buzzer for elevation. Elevation protected red scores another try ball under goal. Currently two for blue and two for red. As we come to the end of our match with five, four, three, two, one. They're trying to elevate, not quite. But hey, you're going for the right bar this time. I don't know yet, we haven't scored it. Finally, just a second here. All right, moving on to match number 17. Let me get ready to hear. I see four robots, which is good, and that's a good start. All right. Preload, that's preload. No red preloads, that's okay. Hey, Thetford, is that zip tie out of size again? Okay. I, I saw you clip it. I wasn't sure where you clipped it.
both teams shooting dry balls across the field both ways. It's like Red has decided they've gotten all of theirs. Now they're going to try to shove them all into their goal. Blue Lions continuing to throw them across the field, landing one off the head of their teammate. Red is double zoned currently, pinning in. Red Alliance still a double zoned. Continuing to shoot trials across the field as a Blue Alliance. Red Alliance trying to score some more tri balls. Just one tri ball to the head, courtesy of Freiburg. Battery dragon round from the Freiburg A team. At the 30 second buzzer, elevation is now protected. Stay away from those bars. Looks like the blue line has got himself a little bit stuck here. End of our match. Red Alliance tried to elevate there on those low bars, not quite there. All right, we'll score us up and carry on. Moving on to match number 18 over here on our U main field. Man, it's 11 already. Looks like I just woke up. Well, I feel like that for the rest of the day. All right. I see four robots. I see one robot with not with the program not running. There we go. I see four ready marks on my screen now. Blue alliance ready. Red alliance ready. Perfect. Alrighty. Driver could not driver, excuse me. Autonomous in three, two, one, go. Both red robots come to life. One red tribal into the goal. Other one not quite. Looks like got stuck on the goal. Final period ends now. Well, it's on the field now and scored, so that's good. But this is going to go to the Red Alliance because they have that one on their goal. Final opponents goes to Red. Drive the control. Three, two, one, go. I gotta say, I like this new update for the Tournament Manager app. The buttons are a lot bigger now. A lot of, a lot of contact going on over here. A lot of battling going on by the red goal there. Blue Alliance should remember to stay out of that goal unless the opponent is double zoned. And now hooked in the intake. They've been freed. Here comes some match loads from the Red Alliance. Almost. Blue Alliance trying to score some more tribals on their goal. Battling going on in the corner over right here between blue and red. Blue trying to grab onto red, it looked like. Charging at them with a the claw outstretched. Trying to stop them in their path. There goes a the tribal over the field for red. And by the way, elevation is protected now, so stay away from those bars. Last gasp here, trying to score some more try balls for Red Alliance. They get one more in. See if Red Alliance can not quite throw that one right about right across the barrier. I can't speak. It's going to be a long day. I apologize. All right, we'll score this one up and see who wins this. I have no idea. I can't do this much math in my head. Right up on the board, we have scores from match number 17, going 111 to 70 with the Red Alliance. As we now move on to match number 19, where we have our 
number one ranked team currently in X Factor from Thetford. We're teamed up with our fifth ranked team from Monmouth. I'm assuming they have a real name that's not MMS Team Y. That would be really boring as a team name. They're going up against our 13th and 16th ranked teams of Team Fishy and Quackify, respectively. Let's go grab some questions of where robots are going. You're on the wrong side, my friend. Blue lines, you guys are on the wrong side. You're all, all the robots are on the wrong side. Red's over there. Red's over there, blue's over here. You can, it's by these elevation bars. You go under your color. That's okay, it's first match of the year. We'll get, first event of the year, we'll get there. We'll get there. I hope, certainly. You guys can't be on the same side. You got one's gotta be on the other side. Thank you, perfect. starting zone is under your side of the field where your robot starts is underneath the colored elevation bar of yours and where your people stand are where the match load zones are of your color so those corners you want to be on the side with your color all right we got some remotes plugged in looks like the red alliance is pretty much ready all right red alliance you guys ready well ready perfect awesome Yarmouth on blue, you ready? Ready? I know you're not. I'm talking about them. That's why I said their name first. <laughs> all right. Once you get all our people where they're supposed to be, and all the robots where they're supposed to be, what team are you on? You're in that robot? You're supposed to be there. All right, now I see ready screens on my screen. All right, all right, looks like we're all ready to go. Red Alliance, you ready now? So ready? Blue Alliance, ready? Awesome, here we go, autonomous, three, two, one, go. See some wings slowly swinging around, almost getting a try ball for red. I'm gonna try it one more time? Not quite. Looks like something might have come unplugged on red, there's an error on their screen. All right. Looks like that's gonna go to red because there's a red tri ball on the field. Here we go, drive control, three, two, one, go. Blue Lions try to chuck their tri ball across the field, not quite making it. Here goes the green one, that one goes across. Blue Lions going the way of throwing as many tri balls as they can. Throwing it at their opponent in that case. Blue Robot stuck a little bit, seems not able to move. And Red's even more stuck. Got himself stuck on the center bar. Center berry, excuse me. That's the word that X uses for that. The team is going to be able to save them. Let's find out. The mom team is trying to save that Thetford Academy team. Good team we're going on. We'll see if they're able to make it be successful. Continuing to slowly throw tribals across the field. Can the robot elevate? I don't think so. Looks like they're trying to. Oh, Red is trying to save them. Red got themselves so stuck while trying to save them. That is unfortunate. Oh, and they're free again. One robot's still not quite free. They're trying to lift them up. Is that where they're going? The blue line's going to up. Oh, almost flip themselves over. They got one tribal in themselves. You can't try to score anything with that. Careful with that center bar, the elevation bar. You can't touch that because it's elevation time. Red Robot still stuck. That was our number one seeded team. We'll see if that remains after this match. If two stuck robots still still going around. One shot across the field by Red and getting onto their offensive zone. There's a lot on the blue offensive zone right now. At the last second, Blue gets one of their goal. Actually, that might have rolled back out. That might have been really unfortunate. All right. We'll square us up and we'll carry on. As you would suggest.
moving on now to match number 20. As we see, again, an almost all Yarmouth match again. With one Monmouth team on red lines, switching that up. All right, blue lines, are you ready? You get glasses on your face? You get glasses on you? No, just, okay. I was just gonna tell you, bring them next match. Just, just bring them for next match. All right, you ready down there in blue? Ready? That's not a thumbs up. I need a thumbs up or a nod or something. Thank you. Red Alliance, ready. One, one, three. Awesome. All right. Match number 20, autonomous period begins. Three, two, one, go. And red goes charging straight across the line. Which unless blue also violates the... Right. Anyway, moving on from that. Autonomous one is going to go to blue because red crossed that line. Carrying on. Three, two, one, go. Before it was uh, that blue row, I better get out of that goal. Seven, eight, thirty-one, eight. Still continuing to drag their claw around. Makes it difficult for them to move when that's dragging on the floor. It did successfully grab that dry ball. Blue robot over here dragging their batter around. That's like even less helpful, actually. Why did you unscore that? Are you a red robot? Well, why'd you do that? Yeah, but you said you unscored it. Why'd you unscore it? That's their goal. You're not supposed to be in there. Two, both the red robots are struggling to move right now. One blue robot is struggling to move. One blue robot can still move. As they come to our elevation protected zone, we're a band on the field. I don't know who that came from. Two robots stuck over together over on the red side. Their claw looks like this hooked on the opponent robot unintentionally. And that's the end of our match. Alrighty then. We'll score this up and carry on. No match to put in this time, so that's going to make our scoring a lot easier. Thank you. Alright, moving on now to match number 21. Alrighty. I see four robots came to the field. Uh, okay, I see four ready lights. I see. Hey, you do need to stand where you're supposed to stand. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's see here. Red alliance, you guys ready? Glasses on your face. Thank you. All right, blue alliance, ready? Awesome. I see ready. I see robots in the right place. Cool. All right, autonomous begins in three, two, one, go. I see life out of three robots. None of them quite scoring a try ball. But we're almost there. Probably our team making a little vortex there. A nice fan almost. All right. Autonomous bonus is going to go. It's a tie, actually, because everybody put a try ball in. Tie in autonomous. Driver control. Three, two, one, go. All the license plates are going away. I don't know who is what anymore. What guy? Hey, why are you throwing tribals in the field? That's not how this works at all. What was that? All 
All right, one. No, trapping is not cleared. Fiber girl is driving straight over the York robot. And York robot's now stuck. A moment of attacking your teammate with that hammer. Elevation is now protected. They robots was tangled together again. This York and this Freiburg team can't seem to get away from each other. And now they're on top of each other yet again. That's one, two. Score of this match. All right. We'll carry on and move on to our next match. That actually is elevated. I need my stick. not talk really loudly when I'm right in front of the microphone or the speaker. All right. Moving on now to match number 22. Okay. I see. Looks like my red alliance is ready. Are you guys ready? Okay, cool. Okay, Red Alliance, you guys ready? Red Alliance, ready. All right, cool. Blue Alliance, not ready, not ready.
after another brief technical delay. All right, blue lines, you ready now? All right, autonomous in three, two, one, go. Blue Alliance almost getting that a win point. But it looks like it's actually it's going to go to red because Blue knocked that tribal out of that goal into the offensive zone. So therefore, it's now scored. It's going to go. Gonna it's going to go to red. Autonomous bonus. Driver control. Three, two, one, go. Theft are going straight back to knocking tribals right across the field. They're quite efficient at that. I mean, our scorekeepers don't like them very much, but. Knocked one into their opponent, no, their teammate, actually, that's their teammate robot. And their battery is unplugged. You can see it dangling there. So there's a Yarma team doing a similar thing, throwing as many tribals into the field as they can. Blue robot here, 7831E, is dead in the water because the robot became unplugged from the battery. The other three robots, the team is going to try and score as many as they can, try and salvage this. There's a 30 second buzzer. Elevation is now protected. I apologize, my voice is dying, but this is how it's going to be today. One, two. That's the match. All righty, we'll score this up and carry on with our day. A lot of tribals. Thank you, Blue Alliance, for that. As you know, both teams got pretty much every tribal on the field. It's almost a full field. All righty then. Moving on to match number 23. We're going to get started here. I see four ready lights on my screen. All right. Red Alliance, you ready? Awesome. Blue Alliance, you ready? Great. Any glasses on your face? Thank you. You ready to go? Let me just stand on that side. Thank you. All right. If we're ready to go, autonomous period will begin in three, two, one, go. Red Alliance scoring one try ball into their goal. Unless something else happens, that's going to win them the autonomous bonus. In fact, nothing else happens, so Red Alliance is going to get that autonomous bonus. Driver control. Three, two, one, go. I see three alive robots. There's one that's dead over there. I'm not sh quite sure. The radio is blinking. It looks like it should be on. Alrighty. Red Alliance throwing as many tribe balls as they can across the field. Blue Alliance trying to knock some into the goal. Blue is currently double zoning, so they could be de-scored. Should Red Alliance be able to? One Red Robot still not quite being able to move. Looks like it's, it's on, power screen is on, the radio is blinking green, should be good to go. Not quite sure what's up there. Red Alliance still throwing tribals across the field. Blue Alliance still double zoned. Uh, 
There's our buzzer for the elevation period. Elevation is now protected. Don't touch the opponent's bars. Blue Lions is still double zoned. Their goal is entirely open to be being descored. However, it looks like the red robot that could descore is not moving. Blue robot robot is falling apart now. I see screws in the field. I see a dangling piece of metal. At the end of this match, we'll carry on. Then eight thirty one B. Make sure you grab all your parts you left on the field. So, announcement from our event partner, uh, food will be arriving shortly. Our official lunch break will begin after match 30, so that's just about 12.15 is when that'll happen. But food should be arriving ahead of that, should you be able to and not have a match, be able to go get food. All right, and we're here we are for match number 24. I see, how many robots we got here? I see four robots. Looks like the Red Alliance is ready. Is that true, Red Alliance? Are you guys ready? Perfect. Let them Blue Alliance charge up their pneumatics tank. Are you guys ready to go? Ready? I need a thumbs up. Ready to go? Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Time to speed begins. Three, two, one, go. I see life from two robots. One red, one blue. Blue almost gets a try ball on the goal. Will red be able to? Not quite. And right, at the end of our match. Looks like it's going to go to the Red Alliance because this blue tri ball is up in the air and therefore not scored. It's going to go to the Red Alliance. Driver control. Three, two, one, go. Alrighty. All four robots are alive and well. Driving around the field. Trying to score some try balls at red. One in this goal for red. See what I'm saying? Red is currently double zoned. Red still double zoned, and they're not double zoned anymore. They're all safe. Blue trying to knock some goals in. There goes one. There goes a try ball across the field for the Red Alliance. Blue trying to, oh, that works, yeah. Disagreement on strategy from the blue team. There's a big show from the blue team. One! They dropped the controller on the ground. That's not helpful. Big fight over here on the side of the blue <laughs> elevation bar. Now blue robot might be stuck, actually, after that exchange. Making some terrible noises down there. Hope you're not breaking my stuff. The red robot trying to elevate. Oh, not quite. There 
there goes the ball into the corner. It doesn't really help them. That's actually actually really bad for them. As in, Jake. Take that back out, Jake. It was after the match. Correct. Thank you. I love knowing people's names. So I can call them out directly. All right. We'll score this up and carry on. Moving over to match number 25. As we have this and then five matches to go until lunch break. I see four ready lights on my screen. That's shocking. All right. I see red robots over there, blue us over here. That's where it's supposed to be. All right. Red Alliance, ready. Ready over there? Awesome. Blue robot, right. you ready? Awesome. You want to put the glasses on your face? Thank you. All righty. Autonomous period will begin in three, two, one, go. All four robots have moved. That's a first for today. However, there's red tribal on the field and some blue tribals that are not on the field. Which means it's going to go to the red alliance. Driver control. Three, two, one, go. There goes Freiburg. Launching tire wells out of the field. Not, not cool. Unhelpful, actually. And stop doing that. <laughs> I just so much height. Yeah, right there is good. Why is there so much height needed for that? I feel like there really isn't that much height needed. Still continuous artillery strike towards the Red Alliance. This is a little bit safer than it was last weekend. Last weekend, it was run over there shooting at the people on the other side. It was, everybody was ducking cover. I kept several times had to yell heads up. Right on the head of the Zephyr team. Trapping one, two, th three. It's our elevation protection bell. And the 15 seconds left. There goes Blue shoving a bunch on the other side, and they've gotten stuck. Red Wolf managed to shove those back across the line. That might be any difference. Who knows? I don't know. I just know the rules. I can't do that much math in my head that fast. It's a good thing we have a calculator for that. All right. As we move now to match number 26, we're now to five matches to go before lunch break. I see not a lot of green lights. I see one green light, actually. Where did I go? Oh, two green lights.
going to move forward with this match. All right. Blue Alliance, ready. Ready down there? Awesome. Red Alliance, ready. Perfect. Tournament period begins in three, two, one, go. I say two alive robots. There goes one into that goal. I think that's still in. We'll find out in a second here. Well, I can't go off of your word now, can I? All right. That's the only one that got moved. That's the only preload that was in the field. Technically, it's out, but it doesn't really matter because it's the only preload that was put in the field, so it's still still a win for red. All right, Thomas, the winner is red. Driver control. Three, two, one, go. I see three alive or four live robots. And the goal is now broken. That's not good. But I guess it's better to break on that end than the other end. I will fix that after this match. It shouldn't affect anything for this match. Yeah, with this match not having any catapults, there's less likelihood of a tribal ending up there. Gosh, the flappy arms in that robot is so funny. Looks like a robot might have had its radio disconnected. Looks like well, that's, what, that's what the message on the brain says, radio disconnected. Red Alliance trying to load as many match as they can. As we come to our elevation protected zone, time, time period, there we go. Very trying to smash as many as they can into that goal. Blue robot is a little bit stuck The robot is trying to carefully get around that to not free them. They freed them anyways. I do like the push on that robot. All right, that's our match. And I'm going to fix the field. All right, match number 27. Here we go. Okay, here we go. The blue robots are on the right side. They have three loads. Blue lines, you guys ready? Ah, that's important. Okay, uh, 93303T, you're only allowed to have one preload. Each, ro each, each robot gets one alliance tribal as a preload, as the rule states. Alrighty, now that that's corrected. All right, you get back to your side, Owen. Get back over there. All right. Hold on, I'm in the wrong app. Okay, red alliance, you guys ready? Awesome, blue alliance, you ready? No, no, no ready?
Okay. Oh, may we ready? Ready now? Oh, good. Okay. Here we go. Autonomous period begins in three, two, one, go. There goes one pre one tri ball into the blue goal, one in the red. I think that one in the red is scored. What the all? Oh, but red crossed the line. That means the Tarnas bonus is going to go to blue because red crossed that line. You can't cross that line over there. All righty. Driver control. Three, two, one, go. All four robots are alive. Got some wings deploying from the Red Alliance. Just smothering the blue, blue robot. Looks like a red robot there. Nope, they're good. They're not stuck. Not yet, at least. Little blue robot is really fast, but not well, not patrolling well. Continues. Blue is trying to defend their goal from the red. Little blue robot is trying to bully the big red robot. Red robot should be not in the blue goal. Let's try and get out of there. Throw it there. Oh, there's some trap. One. There's a broken sensor on the field. That's the end of the match. All right. We'll score this up and we'll carry on. I do apologize. Our game sounds are slightly delayed. About a second. The match will end before you hear the buzzer. All right. Moving on to match number, what are we on? 28. Match number 28. Three more to the lunch. All right. Let's see here. Okay, here we are, match number 28. Blue Alliance, are you ready? Awesome. Red Alliance, are you ready? Awesome. Here we go with our autonomous period. In three, two, one, go. All four robots come to life. That's only like the second time today that's happened. Not quite getting a tribal on the goal there. There is one, on one blue, one red, and the blue goal. That one scored. And that's in, all right. That's red one and a blue one. That's still a tie, but there's a blue one on the field. And I don't see the other red one. The other one's on the outside. So that way it's going to go to blue. Blue will take this autonomous bonus. Driver control, three, two, one, go. Goodness, that Thetford robot is really fast. Fast enough, it keeps driving itself into the wall. Looks like the Mono team is going to try and catapult as many tri balls as they can across the field. Blue Robots serving one in the, into the red goal. It is their color, so that's fine. Uh oh, Red Robot almost stuck. Almost free. Still stuck. Free again. Red, uh, oh goodness. Throwing one straight into the goal from all the way across there. Jacob, they're playing some defense. The Blue Robot is trying to prevent those from rolling straight in. Now they're stuck in the goal. Red Robot saying, don't defend that. Let him go in. 
There's a blue robot that's lost all of its plates and now looks like a red robot. That is, in fact, a blue robot from Thetford. Why are you pinning your teammate? And there's a whole lot of stuck going on over there. I can't even call pinning because it's a teammate. I just got bonked in the back of the head by a tri ball with, with that Thetford robot. Taking all the shots. Why are you descoring those? That's not your goal. Doesn't mean if it asks. It's the rules, man. One. Oh, they're almost free again. You don't necessarily want to be there. Oh. I mean, you were going to be elevated if you were there, but I guess not. Yeah, you can be elevated by just being on those lower bars. I mean, they got to be on your side, but... If you can figure out how to get your robot on those black bars, you can elevate that via that. So that robot actually wouldn't have been elevated because it was on the wrong side. It was a blue robot over on the red side, which wouldn't have counted. Carrying on to match number, what, 29? 29. We have two matches to go until a lunch break. All right. I see three ready signed, and I see one robot that's not plugged in. Who's not plugged in? Okay, now we're all good. All right, I see four robots in the field, two preloads. You got something? go. Ready now? Wait a minute. You're, are you, you're, you're red, right? What is, hold on. This is not, okay, this is, you're, okay. I just got myself confused. That is a C, but why, okay. Yarmouth, you guys were good. Yarmouth, come back. Here, you guys stand with your color. So team team A and F should be over here. And Yar Yarmouth, both are both red. Sorry, yeah, both red rows should be over there. Blue 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 team should be standing over here. Red team should be standing over here. Uh, right in the floor in front of you. Yeah, there you go. All right. Now we got that settled. If we're gonna stand on their side of the field, you guys got four team members over there. You gotta have three. One of you's gotta go away. I'm making a man with a cast go away. What the heck? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Blue alliance ready. Ready over here. Ready, ready, ready. Awesome. Red alliance ready. Firebreak ready. Cool. Here we go, autonomous, three, two, one, go. Does anybody have an autonomous? All right, we're gonna end this early. That's gonna, uh, uh, yeah, tie, tie and autonomous. Driver control, three, two, one, go. That's one of the good things I have. If I, if I, nobody has an autonomous, and nobody, uh, you can just skip the 15 seconds, we don't have to wait here. Oh, the red robot's stuck, and it's free again. Well, you guys got two. You got to, there you go. All right. Yeah, you got to load those one by one. Little thread was grabbing the blue robot with his little grabby arms. And it's stuck on the middle bar now. Not where it wants to be. It's free again. The fight over here with the blue and red with the Yarmouth versus Freiburg. Currently, Freiburg winning that battle. 
Yarmouth Robot is a little bit small for this fight, fighting outside of his weight class. Now climbing on top of the blue robot. The red robot flings its little arms around trying to score some try balls. As we near our elevation limit. <laughs> time period, excuse me, I can't speak today. Looks like we might have an attempt at elevation. My friends, that is the wrong color bar again. You're welcome. There, it is the right color robot. There we go. So defense going, trying to prevent an elevation going on. Oh, you climbed right over the wall. Fine, if you block me this way, I'll go right around. And they got stuck on top of the teammate. That might still be elevated, though. I can't tell if that's touching the floor from here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Let's see how high this robot is. All right, here we go. Match number 30. The last match before our lunch break. Here we go. All right. A lot of screws in this field. If your robot falls apart in the field, please come grab all the screws and nuts and whatever, washers and spacers and everything else that falls off of it. Much appreciated. Okay. So. Blue alliance, you ready? Okay. Red alliance, you ready? Awesome. And the robots are in the right places. The people are standing where they're supposed to stand, I think. Okay, perfect. All right. Here we go. Autonomous period begins in three, two, one, go. There's one blue tribal that rolls all the way across the field into the corner over there. There's a red tribal that didn't quite make it into the goal. I can't tell if that's on the floor or not. If it's not on the floor, it's not scored. Looks like it's off the ground currently. Now it's definitely off the ground now that the arm came up. All right. There's two blue on the ground, one red right up in the air. It's going to be go to the blue alliance for the autonomous bonus. Driver control. Three, two, one, go. Going straight up in the air, back onto their own robot. Careful, try not to hit your own hand with that. Blue robot launching some across the field. Dropping one just there. Red robot getting across the center bar almost. A little bit stuck. And they're free again. Red robots are currently double zoning. Red goal is free. And they're not. Never mind. Let's change that. Blue scoring some tribals in their goal. A little bit stuck. Going for the high shots, almost making like a field goal between Mama's hand there. Another red row stuck on the center barrier. See if a teammate wants to free them. They're right next to each other. Almost free. There you go. Freedom. <laughs> There's our elevation protection time. There's one tribal that got chucked across the field. Tribal go over here. It seems to have lost its drive on one side. Oh, okay. robot is chapter one. As it comes to end match in one second. It's the end of our match. We'll see what it is, and we'll go on to our lunch break. Thank you, everybody. We have an announcement for our event partner, Dave. All right. Ooh.
All right, we are going to uh, take our lunch break now. This is going to go for about a half hour. We're going to attempt to pick right back up with the qualifiers at 1240, right? 1240, 1245. So we will start announcing uh, the teams queuing up for matches 31, 32, et cetera, after that. Um, first off, absolutely huge thank you to everybody volunteering here. Um, this is an absolutely huge effort, and we appreciate you all, and we appreciate all the parents and the students competing today. Um, food is available in the far corner. It is relatively reasonably priced, and it is part of how we fund this program, so if you're hungry, go eat some food. All of your money will be used to buy new parts that we will break in matches like these. Anyway, we hope you're having a good time. Thank you for coming to Freiburg Academy. Thank you, Anthony and Hunter and Paul and Chris and some people whose names I haven't even known yet. Anyway, thank you so, so, so much.
All right, we're looking for our team for our first match after lunch is match number 31. We're for 933-03-X, 4886-W, 4886-S, and 7831-C. Looking for match number 31. Get a row seem to be on. That's helpful. There you go. It's an important step in a plan. All right. Getting ready for match number 31. Looks like we got our red alliance is just about ready. Looking for a blue line to set the robot up, get the preloads, get their controller plugged in. Red alliance, are you guys ready over there? Yeah. All right. All right, Thetford on red team, you ready? All right. Okay, all four teams are ready. Everyone is locked in. Red Alliance, are you ready? Or sorry, Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? Yeah, cool. All right. Ready on blue? Excellent. We're going to go autonomous in three, two, one. All right, three of the robots moving around. A couple try balls scored. Last little nudge there. All right, autonomous goes to red. We're gonna go driver control in three, two, one. All right, 4886S, launching the tri balls to the other side while a couple robots battle it out. Oh, I was watching this kicker over on skills. That was an interesting one. I like that. All right, the Blue Alliance with a huge pile of tri balls. Now trying to work those into the goal. Got some good teamwork going on between these alliances here.
All right, 30 seconds left. Elevation is now protected. Looks like these bots are not too focused on elevating. They are just going for more scoring. We got 10 seconds left in the match. Oh, nice little balancing act there by 4886S. One second left. Excellent work, teams. Hold tight while the scores do their job. We're going to be moving over to Qualification 32 in a moment. Once again, I did want to thank all of the parents. We are quite aware that this is also a commitment from you. But hopefully getting to come to an event like this, you get to see what it is that your students have been doing all of this time and some of the excitement that it, that it brings. All right, so qualification 32 over here. These teams are all ready to go, which is wonderful. All right, so can I get a thumbs up from the Blue Alliance? We're looking good. Thumbs up from Red Alliance. Good to go. All right, we're going to start autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, 4886Y, the only one moving, quickly scores a try ball. We're just going to watch the clock go. All right. Yes, yeah, goes to red, and we're going to go driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, we have four very different bots going on here. Forty-eight eighty six Y trying to pull some tri balls out of the corner. These guys taking 
full advantage of the uh, match load rules. All right, we got a lot of pushing going on. Looks like we are going to have a little snow plowing match over here on the side, underneath the red barrier. Well, 4886Y is just scoring off on their own. We've got 30 seconds left, which means elevation is now protected. Nobody making any speed runs to climb yet. Still focusing on getting those tri balls into the scoring zones on the opposite sides. <laughs> All right, nice job, teams. Hold tight while our scorers do their thing. Coming up in a moment, we'll have qualification 33 between 7881H and B and 7831A and 5156K. All right, 7831B, where are you? This is going to be last call for 7831B. You are needed on qualification 33. All right, let's get that robot in quick. Get your controller plugged in. Oh, very, very important announcement, there was a fresh delivery of new pizzas. So if you were waiting for new pizzas, there are more pizzas over in the concession area in the far back corner. How are we doing here, Red Alliance? <laughs> All right, we are almost ready to roll. 7831B, have you started your program? All right, okay, we are going to triple check. Blue Alliance ready? Red Alliance ready? All right, we're going to go autonomous in three, two, one, go. We got two robots moving. One of them quickly scores a try ball.
All right, and Autonomous goes to blue. We're going to go driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, a couple different strategies going on in this one. It's going to be interesting to see how this shakes out. 51, 56K. Shoving the tri balls right under the goal as quickly as they can. 7831A with the launcher. Many of them are going over. Well, 7831H plays against their schoolmate. There goes the chain. <laughs> All right, we got a healthy mix of offense and defense going on here. A few tri balls in each side, lots of tri balls scattered around the field. With 30 seconds left in the match, <laughs> elevation is now protected. Looks like most of the bots are just going to continue fighting for those tri balls. Seventy-eight thirty-one B now a three-wheel drive robot. All right. Nice job, students. Please leave your robots where they are until the scores are done. We got some, we had some results up there, but you can read, so I don't need to read them to you. All right, we are going to be getting ready over here for qualification 34. 7831E, you're going to need to start your program. You guys are looking pretty ready over here. Thank you. All right, we're having a controller connection problem over there. Let's get that ironed out. All right, excellent. So we are looking pretty good, but let's just triple check. Can I get a couple thumbs up from the Blue Alliance over here? A couple thumbs up from the Red Alliance? Good to go. All right, we're going to go autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, couple things going on. One tri ball scored by 4886X, and another one scored over there.
right, so Autonomous goes to blue. And now we are going to go driver control in three, two, one, go. Ninety three oh three T with a very large wall expansion coming off the side. Hopefully working with their partner. Get some of those tri balls over on the side and then shove them in with that big wall. Our blue alliance playing a more traditional match. Not a lot of motion happening. Not sure if 7831 is, oh, we've got a battery disconnected over there. Uh-oh, all right, well, they are gonna be out for the rest of this match. Seventy-eight thirty-one d working their way, picking off slow different pieces of dry ball, getting them in there. <laughs> With 30 seconds left. That's, that's new. Red Alliance struggling to get their robot in place because of their disabled partner bot there. Looks like they're making an attempt. All right, <laughs> quite a lot going on there. Teams, please leave your robots. Look at this clean and organized, ready group of robots. Amazing. All right, so in a few moments on qualification 35, team 2005F from Freiburg Academy playing against three, three members of the Monmouth team. Should be, should be a little interesting. All right, 93, 93303, Y, X, and V. All ready to go. We got a thumbs up from the Blue Alliance, thumbs up from the Red Alliance. All right, we're going to go autonomous in three, two, one, go. No, 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 no. Cool, we're going to skip that. No one wins autonomous, and we are going to go to driver control in three, two, one, go. Yeah, it's... <laughs> There are four teams concentrating. Oh, good. You got, got yourself separated. All right. There's a couple try balls in each goal. A bunch of them just moving around. 30 seconds left. That means elevation is protected. At this moment, the teams will try to climb if they have a mechanism to do it. Nine seconds left, five seconds left, I mean. 
Do triple zero five F trying to make a last minute climb. Did not quite make it. All right, we're going to have qualification 36 over here in a moment. Looks like all four robots are present, getting themselves linked up. All right, so it looks like teams are almost ready. All right, is the Red Alliance ready? A couple of thumbs up. Is the Blue Alliance ready? Wonderful. All right, we are going to go autonomous in three, two, one, go. We've got one bot moving for autonomous, 4886W with a clean score. Eight seconds to go. And autonomous goes to red. We will now go driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, 5156J with a pretty powerful intake and score there. Teammates trying to figure out a strategy to work together. 4886W just feeding those match loads in. Seventy-eight thirty-one h hanging out. There we go. They're back up and going. 7831B. Play in the middle of the field. We've got license plates falling off. We've got nuts rolling around. We have tri balls everywhere. Hunter is appropriately riveted by the action, the excitement. With 45 seconds left to go, it is too close to call, but the Red Alliance is loading up their goal. Okay, with 30 <laughs> seconds left, elevation is now protected. A lot going on in that corner. With three seconds left in the match. Oh. Good timing to get disentangled there. That was good. All right. Scorers are going to do their job. Great work. Great work, students. Coming up on qualification 37, we are going to have two triple zero five E and C against each other. And 5156K and 4886Y joining them on the field. Teams, let's make sure you get your controllers plugged in. That wire needs to stay. Oh, there we go. You're going to plug in your controllers, start up those programs. All right. 
right, we are doing some last minute rearranging and possibly last minute repairs. We do try to be as accommodating as we can, but we do need to attempt to stay on schedule. All right, since we do have some things slowing us down a little bit here, 2005E, could you please get your program started up just so that if we can give you the time you need, we're ready to roll. You don't really need a fourth wheel. Could be very good at going in circles. All right, that was certainly a last minute repair. All right, 5156K plugging in. Get yourselves ready. All right, is my blue alliance ready? Red alliance ready? We're gonna go autonomous in three, two, one, go. And three robots activate with varying degrees of success. All right, Autonomous goes to blue. We're gonna go driver control in three, two, one, go. Two triple zero five E with their catapult, trying to take advantage of those match loads and send them all to the other side. 5156K, small and quick with an emergency repair that seems to be holding up just a little bit okay. Over here we have a rubber duck. I 
believe this robot is called the Quackening or something to that effect. Meanwhile, 4886Y, just playing the game straight, scoring try balls over in the goal, while the Red Alliance keeps shooting them over the wall. Two triple zero five C, just making a big pile. A lot of try balls moving around. All right, with 30 seconds left, elevation is protected. Looks like we are going to have an attempt to climb. Oh, with a try ball possibly in the way. Eight seconds left. Couple robots trying to get off the ground here. All right, teams, please leave your robots where they are so our scorers can do their jobs. Nice match. Oh, this is exciting. Walk over to a completely ready field. Good work. The audience can't all see this, but on these little screens, we have a little map of what's connected properly. And when it's all green, it's easy. Nice work. So we are going to be starting up qualification 38 over here in just a couple moments. And um, on the whole, considering we had a slightly slower start than we expected this morning, we are still only running about 19 minutes behind, which for an early season tournament, I think these kids deserve a round of applause. It is very, very hard to get your robots ready to go. And they're doing a really, really good job. All right. So I think we are good to go over here. Can I get a thumbs up from the Blue Alliance? Yeah, thumbs up from Red Alliance, good to go. All right, we're gonna go autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, two robots taking a shot, each one scoring an Alliance try ball and then waiting it out. All right, so that's a tie for Autonomous, and now we are going to go driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, we got some very different bots going in this game, so we'll see some different strategies. Ninety-three, three oh three with their wings outstretched, doing a very good job of defense. Going the soccer goalie route, while the other robots play it pretty straight. Couple of try balls scored on each side.
for parents and spectators who may think that this game makes no sense, the red and blue tri-balls score for the team whose color they are no matter where they go. The green ones relate to where they land. We've got a pretty nasty little connection here going. With 30 seconds left in the match. Elevation is now protected. I do not believe that is going to be an issue. They have disconnected from each other with 12 seconds left. Couple last minute pushes. Woo. All right, that one got a little crazy. Have fun with that. All right, we're going to have qualification 39 going on soon. We have four bots in the field, which is good. They're going to get themselves plugged in while I clean up some loose debris from a previous match. After the tournament, I will be selling off the parts I have in my pocket as it grows and grows throughout the day. All right, so 7831D, you need to still start up your program. Excellent, we got four ready greens going. Uh, do I have a thumbs up from the blue alliance? Are you ready to roll? Thumbs up from the red alliance, ready to roll? All right, we're gonna go autonomous in We're going to go autonomous in three, two, one, go. We've got some motion. All right, that's going to go to blue since red crossed the line. And we are going to go driver control in three, two, one, go. Two triple zero five B here with a wall of sorts. We got seventy eight thirty one J. Looks like it's nice and short and probably able to drive right underneath some of those goals. Seventy eight thirty one D with a claw on the front. Going for some standard grabbing and scoring and seventy eight thirty one C plowing. Those tri balls around. Seventy eight thirty one C, maybe think it. There we go. They're still rolling. Two triple zero five B just using some spinning rubber bands to slide some of those tri balls to the opponent's side. And with just about 30 seconds left in the match, elevation will be protected when you hear the bell. There we go. I do not see any robots that look like they are gonna elevate though. So we will be scoring. Blue Alliance working on just keeping as many of those tri balls on the other side of the field as they can. Red Alliance pushing back at the end. <laughs> Three seconds left in the match. 
Uh, Red Alliance with a good last minute push there. We'll see how that shakes out in the scoring. All right. All four go ready right as I'm walking up. So we're just going to wait for Hunter to finish up the scoring over there. Oh, we got a pair from Freiburg Academy this time. Keep it up. All right. So we got two triple zero five D and A on the Red Alliance against ninety three three zero three R and seventy eight thirty one E. It looks like everyone's ready to go, but let's double check. Blue Alliance, Red Alliance, ready to roll. We're gonna go autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, two of the four bots with an autonomous plan. We'll be double checking that try ball. It is probably scored. It is not. All right, so it is still going to go to blue. Autonomous goes to blue, and we're going to go driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, we got another launcher. Tossing those balls across to the other side. Blue Alliance working as a team here. Red Alliance loading up the match loads. Blue Alliance doing an excellent job launching the match loads across where their partner is then scoring them. All right, with 30 seconds left in the match, elevation is protected. Looks like the robots are not focusing on elevation. They are scoring. Nine seconds left in the match. And a couple of last minute scores from the Blue Alliance. Nice work, teams. All right, we got a couple last minute cleanup flash repairs to do. <laughs> yeah. All 
right, 4886S, now ready to go. All right, do we have a thumbs up from the Blue Alliance, ready to roll? Thumbs up from Red Alliance? Okay, we're gonna go autonomous in three, two, one, go. Whoa. Does anyone have one that was supposed to be running? No, all right, then we are gonna skip that piece. And we are gonna move right into driver control in three. Oh, blue gets autonomous for that? Okay. And All right. Uh, we're going to go driver control in three, two, one, go. Forty-eight eighty-six S launching the tri balls across while also making me feel underdressed for this event. So we have four very capable robots, each kind of doing their own thing at the moment. There's a lot to watch going on in that one corner. Oh, Red Alliance with a robot on its back or front. And we got a red and a blue entangled over there. We've got all kinds of crazy happening. All right, they have come back apart. They are leaving chains on the ground. There's about 30 seconds left in the match, which means elevation is protected while more and more chains fall onto the ground. 93303V taking a rest. Getting some fluorescent light sun. All right, scoring time. Okay, on to qualification 42. We have one, two teams ready. Still waiting for one on each alliance to get their robot plugged in and ready to roll, and then we will start this match up. We have picked up one minute on our delay. Oh, we're about to lose it. It was close. I shouldn't have said anything. Sure, we might still be behind a little bit, but now cheap tricks on the PA, so. I think we need more cheap trick. You can do it. No. Oh, I probably can't even say cheap trick and it's gonna shut down the YouTube live stream. All right, 7831D. There we go. Excellent. Just want to be ready to ready to roll when Hunter comes back. All right. Is the Blue Alliance ready to roll? Is the Red Alliance ready to roll? All right, we're going to go autonomous in three, two, one, go. 
And 4886Y with a quick shot into the goal. And 4886W with another shot into the goal. And Autonomous goes to blue, and we're going driver control in three, two, one, go. Forty-eight eighty-six W with a nice little match load and pushing it over to the side. All right, with 30 seconds left, that means that elevation is protected. Couple of bots still going for some scoring. Looks like we got one robot elevating. We'll see if they can stay up there. That is two triple zero five F elevating over on the red bars. While the blue alliance goes for some last minute, last minute scoring. Nice match, everyone. All right, if everyone over here would plug in, get your programs running, that would be great. Qualification 43, 93303X, and 2005C against 5156J and 7831E. Slowly getting ready, almost ready. It appears, it appears that the Red Alliance is ready. Okay, Blue Alliance is ready. Excellent. We are going to go autonomous in three. Two. Do they? They probably have ten. It's all one side. You should have twenty-two total. Okay, so you got, so you got too many then. You guys got what you need? Okay. All right, we're going autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, a couple bots trying for an autonomous routine. All right, autonomous tie, and we're going to go to driver control in three, two, one, go. All 
right, we clearly have four bots here who know what they want to do. All right, with 30 seconds left in the match, Elevation is now protected. One of the Red Alliance going for a climb, while the other three bots are continuing to play. Blue Alliance with a last minute score of a try ball in there. I'm gonna let the scorers do their jobs. Coming up, qualification 44, we're gonna have the dual team of 7831G and C up against the Blue Alliance of 2005E and 7831B. Let's see who are currently making a mess of the field. All right, here we go. Two triple zero five E needs to start up their program on the Blue Alliance. I do love the team communication going on here. Red Alliance seems very comfortable just waiting their turn. I hope next year we have 50 things on each side of the field. Blue Alliance, you got to start your program. There we go. All right. Thumbs up from everyone. We're going autonomous in three, two, one, go.
That is an autonomous tie. All right, we're going to go driver control in. Three, two, one, go. A lot of talking coming from the Blue Alliance over here. They have got a plan. Two triple zero five E launching the tri balls over an invisible net. <laughs> and the Red Alliance is just working the regular green tri balls. Blue Alliance with a couple of good scores in there. Blue Alliance currently dual zoning. All right, Red Alliance making a push back onto this side with about 30 seconds left. Elevation is now protected. Got some grinding sounds. For the last 10 seconds, looks like we will just be shoving tri balls. All right, nice work, all teams. Okay, qualification 45 will be coming right up. All four teams and bots are already ready. Thank you. We're back under that 20-minute line. We're going to see if we can keep nudging that down. When you see Hunter in the bright green shirt wandering over here, you know it is time to go. Here he comes a wandering. All right. Not, no, no. Not all who wander are lost, Hunter. Okay. Um, so, Blue Alliance ready? Yeah, just subtle nods. Red Alliance ready? Excellent. All right, we're going to go for Autonomous. In three, two, one, go. All right, two of the bots make a move. And then wait patiently. All right, Autonomous goes to red. We're going to go driver control in three, two, one, go. Ninety-three, three oh three T attempting to use their their wings to block the shots, and now just plowing them in the goal. All right, there are a lot of tri balls in the field, lots of stuff moving around. 4886S pushing hard. Driving those tri balls in while the Red Alliance continues to work that wall. Got some parts starting to fall off. In a few moments at 30 seconds, elevation will be protected. The robots can attempt to climb the colored bars on either side. Or continue to fight for tri balls. All right.
right, with eight seconds left. Lots of scoring to be done here. Good work, teams. All right, we're going to be starting up qualification round 46. Our qualifiers will end with match 54, so we are in that final stretch. So qualification 46 between 2005 A and B against the pair of 93303 F and Y. All right, looking for 93303Y to plug in and start their program. All right, it's looking like we're ready. Can I get a thumbs up from the Blue Alliance? Thumbs up from the Red Alliance? Excellent, we're gonna go autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, autonomous tie. We're gonna go driver control in three, two, one, go. Nine, three, three, oh, three F with a clean, soft toss. Tossing those tri balls across while two, triple zero, five B bowls them down the side. A lot of tri balls moving around. Same basic strategy being played by both alliances here. Piles of tri balls everywhere. Oh, the bot's getting aggressive for the last 30 seconds. Elevation is now protected, but in these last 30 seconds, there are tri balls everywhere. And with 15 seconds left to go, this is going to be a tough one to call. Blue Alliance making a last minute push. Red Alliance unable to stop that flood there. And the match is over. Excellent game, folks. Coming up to qualification 47, we're gonna have the teams of 7831J and 93303R on the Red Alliance up against 7831F and 5156K on blue. All those green lights are starting to come on. We are looking re excellent. Everyone is ready. Thank you for being ready. When Hunter comes over, we will jump right into this match. All right. 
Can I get a thumbs up from the Blue Alliance if you're ready? Thumbs up from the Red Alliance if you're ready? We're going to go autonomous in three, two, one, go. Blue Alliance with an attempt to score underneath. Red Alliance putting one into the, into the goal. And autonomous goes to red. We're going to go driver control in three, two, one, go. Fifty-one, fifty-six k stuck from their autonomous routine. Perhaps a little help from a partner. While the Red Alliance works slowly but surely. All right, everyone kind of doing their own thing here. This very low height bot, 7831J, easily driving straight into the goal to score while their partner launches tri balls over to them one at a time. Blue Alliance having a couple of mechanical issues going on that are contributing to this struggle while the Red Alliance slowly puts one tri ball at a time into the goal. Blue Alliance attempting a last ditch effort to slam their way underneath the horizontal barrier with 30 <laughs> seconds left to go. Elevation is now protected should anyone feel like climbing. Oh, a nice last minute push by the Red Alliance. Get a couple more tri balls over to that side. Good work, teams. That wrapped up qualification 49. That means we have, if I counted correctly, five matches left in the qualifiers. So we got five matches left to go. We are looking for three robots over here for qualification 48. 93303V, 7831C, 4886Y. Work your way over to the far field so we can keep this moving. After the qualifiers happen, some of you may know, there will be an alliance selection. The alliance selection is where the highest ranked teams get to attempt to request partners for the final bracket. Red team, red team puts their bots on this side. So yeah, that bot needs to be on this side. As you may all have noticed, this is a somewhat tricky layout to the game. There's a lot of forward, back, left, right, and color matching. It takes a little practice for the teams to get used to where everything begins.
right, qualification 48 is just about ready to go. If your robot is on qualification 49, that field is almost set back up. So we're gonna try to keep this all moving nice and fast. Red Alliance ready, looking for a thumbs up. Red Alliance ready, Blue Alliance ready. Yes, you look ready, all right. You can keep moving those as it starts. We're gonna go autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, all four bots move. One bot scores, possibly another. We will find out. All right, autonomous goes to blue, and we are going driver control in three, two, one, go. Pile of robots over here. Oh, and they're getting bigger. All right, Blue, Blue Alliance frees themselves after a long sticking point there. With 30 seconds left, Elevation is now protected. The robots move into their end game, either trying to score or climb or make a mess. With no one in the air, this will come down to the try balls. Let the scoring begin. That was qualification. That was some qualification. All right, this is going to be qualification 49. A couple questions for head ref Hunter David. Some of you may not know Hunter, but most of you know Hunter. Hunter is the Uber vol volunteer and really is the only reason that we can make this work because I don't want to ref this game. It's too hard. All right, are we ready to go? Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? All right, we're gonna go autonomous in three, two, one, go. Couple of bots with a move.
All right, Autonomous goes to blue, and we're going driver control in. Three, two, one, go. Go-ish. Everybody is just hard at work with their own plan going here. A couple of parts falling off, but so far that hasn't stopped anyone. We're just going to have a big push of green tri-balls over underneath the red barrier. Red and blue just in a shoving match. <laughs> Who is going to move the pile? <laughs> All right, with 30 seconds left, climbing uh, elevation is restricted. Oh, well, that was an interesting ending. All right, we'll see how that goes. Qualification 50. We are down to the last five. So, qualification 50. Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? Excellent. We're going to go autonomous in three, two, one, go. One bot going for autonomous. Making a dance out of it, though. They're just showing off. All right, it's going to go to blue, and we're going to go to driver control in three, two, one, go. Three robots in a pile on one side while 5156J just gets to do whatever they want on that side. With a minute and 10 left to go in qualification 50, these, these robots are playing rough. We have license plates falling off.
Red Alliance trying to launch a few extra try balls from their match loads over the side while also scoring more over in the goal. Blue Alliance hung up on the crossbar. All right, in the last 30 seconds, elevation is protected. Blue Alliance going for a climb. Red Alliance elevated, but <laughs> Blue with a last minute escape. All right. All right. Teams for qualification 51, if you would do me a favor and make sure you count your alliance tri balls match loads, you should have 22 on each side. And please make sure after your matches, you do not leave with the try balls. Should each have 22 on your side. All right. We have four ready robots. Thank you so much for doing that. We have actually picked up the pace here for these last few hunters over here, so we are ready to roll. Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? Okay, we're gonna go autonomous in. Okay. We're gonna go autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, three robots with autonomous routines making their moves. Blue putting two tri balls into the nets. got some technical difficulties and we will be right back with you. And while Hunter hooks up a new cable, I am going to remind the teams for the next match to make sure that you have 22 match loads on the outside for your alliance. 22 total for each alliance. You can split them up however you would like. Excellent. All right, thank you, Hunter. Okay, so, Autonomous went to blue. We are gonna go driver control in three, two, one, go. And the bots are off.
30 seconds left means that elevation is now protected. All right, nice work, folks. Especially as we wrap up toward the last few rounds and then definitely during the, uh, the finals, um, as the crowd starts to grow, I'd like to remind the teams that there are three drive team members allowed. They should be right in the area of the field and other members of your team should be watching from the stands with the audience. So if you have other teammates who want to cheer you on, that's great, but make sure they go to the stand so that everybody can see and so that we know who is on the drive team. Drive team, not tream. All right. We're looking for two triple zero five E's controller to get connected and 7831E to do something, probably turn it on and flip a switch. All right, two bots are ready, two bots close. Three bots are ready, 7831E. There we go. Excellent. All right, qualification, qualification 52 about to begin. Uh, Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? All right, we're going to go autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, we've got an autonomous tie. We're gonna go driver control now in three, two, one, go. All right, four robots that know what they want. Oh, we have a claw, a claw coming apart for 7831F. We'll see what they can pull out for the rest of this match. Two triple zero five E launching the balls over to the side and the blue alliance working slowly but surely scoring those tri balls in the blue net. All right.
right, that 30 second bell means that elevation is protected if any robots would like to climb. All right, nice job. Coming up in a moment, qualification 53. All right, we got four teams ready. Do we have uh, Blue Alliance ready? Red Alliance ready? Excellent, we're gonna go autonomous in three, two, one, go. Autonomous goes to red, and driver control in three, two, one, go. Forty-eight eighty-six S just launching those tri balls across. This is a sea of green. All right, with 30 seconds left, teams can climb. But this game seems to be all about scoring in the goals. 10 seconds left in qualification 53. All right, nice job, folks. All right, we are about to begin our final qualification match of the day. After that, we will be working as quickly as possible to put together alliance selection and work through our final rounds. This is a great opportunity to once again thank all of our volunteers. And in particular, I wanted to mention, we have a ton of middle school teams here today and a lot of high school teams. And I've been really, really impressed with how the high schoolers have been helping out the middle schoolers and all of the people who know what they're doing have been helping out all of the new teams. So huge round of applause for the kids and the way they handled this today. First couple tournaments are hard and they're doing a really, really good job. So we are almost ready here for qualification 54. Looking for 93303 to 303Y to start up their program. Red Alliance. Excellent, we are all ready. Can I get a thumbs up from the Red Alliance? Thumbs up from the Blue Alliance? We're gonna go autonomous in three, two, one, go.
All right, so Autonomous goes to blue since red crossed over the line. We're going to go driver control in three, two, one, go. Seventy-eight thirty-one H, playing the long game, waiting it out on the side. I think we might be disabled. Hey, oh, we got it going. All right, seventy-eight thirty-one H frees itself and is back in the game. Blue Alliance working in tandem together. Red Alliance now able to collaborate once again. A lot of tri balls scattered around the field. Not a ton of them in the goals yet, so this could still go either way. Red Alliance with a nice last minute move here. Coming up on 30 seconds. Elevation now protected. Teams appear to be continuing with their strategy of just scoring try balls for the last 20 seconds. 9330R, 93303R, still just shooting the balls across. With seven seconds left to go in qualification 54. Let's get a big round of applause for all of the qualifying matches going to take us a few moments to keep things going. Teams, get your robots ready. We will set up Alliance Selection ASAP. All right, so we will be beginning alliance selection soon after we get some scoring together. Because we had an odd number of teams, because we had 27 teams here today, 24 teams will be moving on after alliance selection. So three teams will not continue after that. And we will be doing our final, our final rounds after that.
right, the skills field is now closed. Excellent work to all the people, all the teams who made skills runs today. All right, so team members representing your teams are going to walk to the far side over here. Find your team's card as Hunter lays them down. Give him a moment. One, two. Right, so we're going to be beginning alliance selection as soon as we can. And for those of you who may not remember or recall the rules of alliance selection, it's relatively straightforward. The highest ranked team 
gets a choice to ask another alliance to be their partner, another team to be their partner, that team can either accept or decline. But if you decline, you cannot say yes again. You have to wait your turn until it is your turn in the picking order. So if you say no, you can't say yes. When the teams are announced, when somebody says, I would like to have your team as a partner, and you hear your team name or number called, please wave your hands around or make yourself visible so that Mr. Kirsch here can come find you and hear your, resp and hear your response to the request. And we will move right along with this. All right, do we have people from every team here? Uh, Freiburg Academy, bunch of slackers. Team two, triple zero five F, we need you. Two, triple zero five F, there we go. And we apparently need team four, eight, eight, six W. All right, excellent. So before we begin alliance selection, please, could we get a huge round of applause for all of the teams? In case you didn't notice in the last couple days when everybody went crazy, it actually takes a lot of work to make these robots. Yeah, it takes a lot of time for them. So we are very, very proud of all of them and very happy to host. So we're going to begin the process with team 48. 86W wise guys currently in rank number one, and we are wondering who you would like to ask to be your alliance partner. Uh, we would like to choose String Theory. String, yeah, string Theory 4886S. Is that what you asked for? String Theory. Do you accept or do you decline? We accept. They accept. All right, excellent. Moving down the line, 93303R, Dilophosaurus? Sure, we're going with that. Who would you like to ask? 93303T. 93303T, pointing at their sign. Do you accept or do you decline? We accept. Excellent. All right, Team 7831A, Team Fishy, Frank Harrison Middle School. Excellent. Who would you like to ask? 4886Y. 4886Y, Team Yogurt. Yogurt, do you accept or decline? Uh, we respectfully decline. Okay, Ooh. they respectfully decline. So, who's your next choice? 7831E. 7831E. The Pie Society, do you accept or decline? We respectfully decline. Okay. Ooh. And now the politics begins. And this is worth noting for teams coming up. 5156K. 5156K? Say yes to the dress. Do you, do you accept or decline? I accept. I accept. All right, they accept. Congratulations. Good work. All right, 4886Y Yogurt from Thetford Academy. Um, 2005E. 20,005E? Uh, yeah, 20,005E. Where is 20,005E? All right. Team Michael, do you accept or decline? Yes, we accept. All right, excellent. Congratulations. Okay, Team 7831E, again from Frank Harrison Middle School. 93303X. Asking 93303X. Dark Industries, accept or decline? Accept. They accept. Excellent. 
All right. Team two, triple zero five B Bun Bun. All right, looking for two triple zero five C as a partner. Quackify, do you accept or decline? We accept. All right, awesome. All right, team nine three three zero three Y MMS team Y from Monmouth. Nine three three zero three F. Nine three three zero three F as in Frank. Pneumonia, do you accept or decline? We accept. All right. All right, 4886X, the X factor. Two zero 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 five F. Yellow, Yellow orange. orange, do you accept or decline? I accept. And he accepts, accept. excellent. All right, and 5156J, the rascals. Can everyone hold up their numbers so then they can see who's left? Getting a little farther away. I bet young people can read those numbers, Dave, unlike you and me. All right, gonna make a choice. Flavor box. Seven, eight. 7831G, Clipperbots. Do you accept or decline? We accept. All right. Congratulations. All right, now we got team 7831J, Clipperbots. Uh, 20,005D. Team 20,005D, Bruno. Bruno, do you accept or decline? We accept. accept. Bruno accepts. All right, now we have team 7831C, the Battle Shrooms, all the way from Frank Harrison Middle School as well. Who would you like to pick? Nine three three O V. 9330V. I hope you accept, because I walked over here. We accept or decline? We accept. Excellent. All right. All right, and now we have team 7831F, the green fedora cats. Team 7831D. 7831D, do you accept or decline? We accept. All right. And that is it. Those are our alliances. Congratulations, everybody. Those are the alliances. Let's get another big round of applause for everybody. We are going to prep this stuff back together. We're going to get ready for the alliance matches. The alliance matches will begin at approximately 3.10 p.m. So teams, get together with your new alliance partners, fix up your bots, talk strategy, and get ready.
All righty. It's time to get our elimination matches started. Starting off with our first match, we have the eighth seeded alliance versus our, our ninth seed alliance. This is 4886X and 2005F on our red alliance versus 5156J and 7831G on our blue alliance. Blue Alliance, are you ready? None of them are ready. I can see them all still chatting. You ready, Willow? All right, perfect. Ready on red? Perfect. All righty. You ready to start autonomous in three, two, one, go. Three robots come to life. Trying to score some balls into the goal. That one might be in on Blue Alliance, I'm not quite sure. Check. Going to be a tie in the autonomous period. Drive the control. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> the two blue tri balls in the goal. There's now a red one. More tri balls going to the blue goal. Another one going into red. Match load is being put in for Thetford Academy. Red robot now stuck on the goal a little bit. Stuck on a tie ball and the goal in a combination. They are through. But now the ramp isn't really being a ramp anymore. License plate falling off the York team. Red is currently double zoned. Their goal is open. Another ball going into the goal for blue. Ramp is the ramp again for red. Uh oh, stuck under the goal. Oh, blue robot stuck on the goal. Elevation is now protected. Let's see if any of our robots try to elevate. There's one robot here that can elevate. Will they choose to do so? Blue freeing their teammate from the goal. Will it be too little too late? We'll find out. Down to the final stretch. Who is seeing any elevation? Doesn't look like it. One last attempt at an elevation. Not quite there. That is the end of this match. All right. We'll score this up and see how we go. scorekeepers will score up this match. Our team is for our second match. Looks like I see one sitting on the table there, almost ready to go. Looks like we're missing our blue lines, and I see them walking their way over now. This is our qualification match, round of 16, number four. I know the numbers don't make sense, but it's round of 16, number four. This is our, what alliance is this? This is rank fifth seed alliance versus our 12th seed alliance. On our fifth seed alliance in red, we have 7831E and 93303X. Going against our 12th seed alliance of 7831F and 7831D. There's our last blue robot. That's fine, yeah. Having your robot on is an important part. As we look to our screen, I see two ready lights from our red alliance. Thank you, red alliance, for being ready. 
boot line isn't quite there yet, turning some robots on, getting some robots plugged in, starting some programs, getting ready to go here. Uh, so we're just about ready. 731D is still not quite connected. And now connected. You gotta choose a program. Grabbing their portable charger because their remote is currently dying. I think our scorekeepers turned resetters, Jess and Yale. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. All right, blue lines, you guys ready now? All right, thumbs up, I got. Red lines ready? Awesome. All righty. Here we go, when autonomous period in three, two, one, go. I see life from two robots. 7831D is slowly rolling across the line. Which means that autonomous bonus is going to go to red. Because blue crossed that line, not allowed to do that. It's going to go to red, driver control. Three, two, one, go. All four robots come to life. Here we go, functioning. We'll push and shoving on here on the left side. Right side if you're the audience. A swinging hammer thing is really entertaining. Not sure it's the fastest thing in the world, but it's sure fun to watch. Couple try balls in the red goal, and not any in the blue goal just yet. Using a little bit of a swerve drive from the monitor team. Giving it to great effect there. Blue Lions is going to try and do something to slow the bleeding, so to speak. More try balls going into the red goal. Still none in the blue. Blue, here goes blue. The attempt just misses that one. More match loads being loaded by the red alliance. Blue line is not able to get that try ball over the wall because they're having difficulty driving. <laughs> Got some pinning going on there. Oh, and that's cleared. Blue Alliance looks like they're stuck in their goal now. So aggressive for just a little tiny try ball. And that's the end of our match. All right. We'll score this up and we'll see who moves on. All right, so just announcing a score on the round of 16-2-1. The, re uh, the Red Alliance won with 62-53. to 53. X Factor and Yellow Orange with a narrow lead over Rascals and Clipperbots. Excellent, excellent work by both teams.
All right, we're coming up to round of 16, match six. Okay, so round of 16, six. We've got 93303Y and F as the Red Alliance up against 7831J and 2005D as our Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance, are you ready? Yeah. Red Alliance, are you ready? Excellent. We will begin with Autonomous in three, two, one, go. Red Alliance bots both going for an Autonomous victory here. Wait out that 15-second clock. All right, and Autonomous goes to red. We're going to go driver control in three, two, one. Each bot clearly has a mission in this match. Very large pile of green tri balls building up on the uh, red goal side. Blue Alliance in a little bit of an avalanche here. All right, last 30 seconds. Elevation is protected. This is a good match, but there are a lot of green tri balls stuck in the corner that will go unscored. And now we're just gonna all punch each other in the middle for the remaining few. Two triple zero five D attempting to climb the wall. All right, excellent. Let's get a round of applause for all these guys. Do we perhaps? We do. We have results from round of 16 4. The Red Alliance of 7831E and 93303X Stark Industries with a win of 58 to 10. Yeah, let's give them a round of applause. Excellent. 7831F and D putting up a good fight. From Yarmouth, thank you also for being here. All right, we will be having s round of 16, match eight. With the Freiburg Academy teams of two triple zero five B and C as the Red Alliance up against 7831C and 93303V as the Blue Alliance.
right. Crown to 16-8. We are looking pretty good here. Blue Alliance, are you ready? This side is blue. Blue Alliance, are you ready? No? Red Alliance, are you ready? Okay. All right. All right, both alliances are ready. We're going to start this round autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, Autonomous is going to go to red. We're going to go driver control in three. Luckily, no robots moved into, into that general area. All right, so we're going driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, Red Alliance. <laughs> Plowing a whole bunch. All right, with 30 seconds left, robots who decide they would like to climb, would like to elevate. Excellent match, everyone. All right, we got some numbers from the round of 16-6. The Red Alliance of 93303Y and F winning with 78 over the Blue Alliance's 19. Let's have a round of applause for Clipperbots and Bruno. Excellent, excellent match. We will be starting, yeah, we will be in the quarterfinals next. The quarterfinals one will be over here on this field with the teams 4886W and S together and 4886X also from their school with 2005F. This is quarterfinals one. Most of the bots are ready. 4886X needs to start their program. Oh, the numbers might be switched. There you go, excellent. All right, so Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? Excellent. We are going to go driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, and three bots, all with an autonomous routine, hoping to take that, take those extra bonus points at the beginning.
and autonomous goes to red. We are going driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, we've got a good mix of offense and defense going on here. Some very fast robots. All right, Red Alliance pushing more tri balls over to the side and scoring more. Blue Alliance attempting to do some launching and pushing with just over 30 seconds left in the match. In a moment when the buzzer goes, those robots wishing to elevate. All right, Blue Alliance looks like they're coming over to try to elevate. No, nope, maybe not. Yep, they are, okay. The rest of the bots are playing. We got a lift. All right, one bot's up. Let's see if that stays. Looks like it. We're gonna have some interesting scoring to do here. Congratulations, everyone. All right, we've got the results from round of 16, match eight. We've got team two, triple zero five B and C, Bun Bun and Quackify winning with 109 to 31 over the Battle Shrooms and Um Actually. So congratulations to the Blue Alliance as well, whose day ends here. Congratulations to the Red Alliance who will be moving forward. Next match coming up. Quarterfinals 2 is going to be a matchup of the Red Alliance 4886Y and 2005E against the Blue Alliance of 7831E and 93303X. We're dialing in the last few settings and connections here. All right, the Blue Alliance appears to be ready. Red Alliance fighting with a little bit of their contraptions. Let's see what we've got. Red Alliance, let's see if you can get yourselves plugged in and your program started. We are halfway there. We are most of the way there. One of the red sides needs to start their program. There we go. All right, is our Blue Alliance ready? Excellent, is our Red Alliance ready? Yes, all right, we are gonna go autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, three robots doing autonomous moves very, very briefly. With a few seconds left.
All right, autonomous goes to red. We will now be going to driver control in three, two, one, go. This match definitely has four of the more interesting contraptions going at a time. We have a couple different types of throwers and kickers and launchers and expanding walls, lots and lots of moving parts going on here. A lot of good practice and skills were learned today. Everybody is sticking primarily to what they know they're good at. Not too much head-to-head -head action at the moment. Two triple zero five E sending tri balls as high as possible. Blue Alliance working slow and steady. Red Alliance, a little wild. With about 40 seconds left in the match, in about 10 seconds, Robot to Wanna Elevate will be unrestricted. Oh, we've got a great expansion going. Pushing a ton of tri balls around with those big wings. 78-31E dropping a couple more tri balls into the blue goal with 18 seconds left in the match. Both teams coordinating very well with eight seconds left in the match. This is a tough one to call. Excellent work. Excellent work, everyone. All right, we've got the results from quarterfinals one with the Red Alliance of Wise Guys and String Theory taking the win with 116 to 56 over X Factor and Yellow Orange, whose day ends now. Let's give them all a good round of applause. Very, very cool robots happening. Coming up for quarterfinals three, we've got, wow, all the teams in quarterfinals three are from team 93303. We've got, hang on, let me check. Hang on, Hunter's gonna check out whatever you're asking about. All right, we are going to be doing a quick measurement. All right. All right, so we got Four team, four robots from team 9330 th <laughs> Can't talk anymore. All right, red alliance of R and T, blue alliance of Y and F. Blue alliance needs to plug in their controllers and start up their programs. Blue Alliance, please check your controllers, get your program started. Red Alliance appears to be ready. Blue Alliance, please check your controllers. Both teams.
There we go. All right, we got four ready squares. All right, are we ready for Blue Alliance? Blue Alliance, are we ready? All right, Blue Alliance ready? Red Alliance ready? All right, we're gonna go driver, I'm sorry, we're gonna go autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, autonomous goes to red. We're gonna go driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, the Red Alliance launching tri balls across while their partner partner scores. It's the brain battle. All right, last thirty seconds. Blue Alliance with a loose battery cable keeping them from moving one of their bots with 10 seconds left to go. Red Alliance possibly hung up on the middle bar? Hard to say. It's elevation, got it, sorry. <laughs> All right, nice job, nice job everyone. Hold tight while our scorers do their thing. We've got the results from quarterfinals two, really tight match. The Red Alliance, however, takes it with 66 to 53. Team 4886Y, Yogurt, and Team 2, 0005E, Michael, will be moving on. And big round of applause for our Blue Alliance with 53 points, the Pie Society, and Stark Industries. Very, very tight match there. In a moment, we'll be moving on to quarterfinals four. We have three out of four robots ready already. Four out of four, excellent work. In this match on the Blue Alliance, we will have the pair of two 0005 B and C up against 7831A and 5156K. Everybody appears to be ready. Yeah, you can cheer for those teams. You can cheer for all of them. Make some noise. The robots can feed off of your energy. Okay, so Blue Alliance, are we ready? Red Alliance, are we ready? Wonderful, nice work. We are gonna go with Autonomous in three, two, one, go. Two bots go for an Autonomous. Two triple zero five B now just functioning as a fan. All right, so autonomous goes to blue. All right, we're going to go driver control in three, two, one, go. All right.
right, Red Alliance working in Working as a team, launching the tri balls across and scoring them. Blue Alliance attempting to do the same thing. Little bit of pushing and shoving. Two triple zero five B pushing a large pile of tri balls across while the Red Alliance continues to just score over into the net. We've got a good fight going on both sides with 42 seconds left in the match. Got a healthy fight for the remaining tri balls going with 30 seconds left. Two triple zero five B playing some defense. Oh, and a last push there as well. Four seconds left to go. License plates everywhere. That was a really, really good match. Look at all those scores. Nicely done. Oh, and an elevation I didn't even notice because I was watching everybody hitting each other. All right. Nice job. We've got results from quarterfinals three. The Red Alliance of Dilophosaurus and No Expectations taking the win with 96 over teams 93303Y and F with 11 points. Let's get a round of applause for all of them, all schoolmates. Four teams, all from Monmouth, doing a great job. We are getting ourselves set up for semifinals one. Semifinals one. This is where we need the audience to get noisy. We need people to cheer and scream or sing along with the music. This has been uh, a really, really long process for all these students. I just want to congratulate them once again. I know watching my teams in the lab and around over the last couple weeks. They've been really working hard trying to get ready for this and all of us are very impressed by the work you're putting into this, so congratulations. All right, so we've got one more, uh, two triple zero five E, we gotta get connected, Blue Alliance. Make sure you start your program. There we go. Excellent. All right, quick field check. Everything's looking like it's in the right place. When Hunter makes his way over, we will begin semifinals one. This is going to be 4886W and S against 4886Y, paired up with 2005E. Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? Excellent. We are going to go for autonomous in three, two, one, go. All four bots going for autonomous. So Autonomous is going to go to red because blue crossed the center line as part of their as part of their program. So Autonomous goes to red and we are going to driver control in three, two, one. 
Go. All right, as you can all see, the later we get in the day, the more and more capable bots we see doing more and more complicated tasks. And this is a very aggressive match. With 45 seconds left to go, definitely tough to call. Both teams still working on launching launching tri balls across. Red Alliance continues to fire balls across with 30 seconds left. All right, seven seconds left. People playing hard in this match. Okay, those were some high scores. It's gonna take a little bit to score. Everybody please leave things where they are while our scorekeepers do their work. We've got results from quarterfinals four. Hey, a blue side win. There's been a lot of reds recently. Blue side win. Quarterfinals for Team 2, triple zero five B and C, Bun Bun and Quackify. <laughs> Not gonna get used to saying that out loud. With 106 against the Red Alliance of Team Fishy and Charlie's Little Mole Rats with a very respectable score of 80 as well. Big round of applause for both of those alliances, please. Semifinals two. with zero of four robots ready. We are looking for teams 93303R and T and teams 2005B and C to make your way over to semifinals two at the far end of the room. Thank you so, so much. All right, these are some experienced teams. They know exactly what they want to do right now. They are setting up fast. All right, we got two of the four. One on each side is ready to roll. One on each side still needs to push the correct buttons to be ready to roll. There we go, the Red Alliance is ready, at least digitally. Blue Alliance still needs to plug their controller in. If any of you are uh, new to this whole VEX experience, you may not know that all of these tournaments are live streamed on YouTube, and you can also watch them after the fact. If you go to the Robotics Institute of Maine YouTube channel, you can find these. So you can share that with your family members who might have no idea what it is these kids do with their weekend time. And they will get all of these great overhead videos. All right, excellent. Good sportsmanship going on here. Semifinals two.
Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? Excellent. We are going to go autonomous as soon as I remove this random piece of plastic from the field. We're going to go autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, autonomous goes to red. If we could just clear the view off here, if you're not on a drive train, a drive team, um, that way the audience can still see. That would be awesome. Excellent. We are going to go driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, we got some good blocking going on here. All the robots are working hard. Yeah. Ninety-three three zero three T with that huge wall scoring multiple balls at a time. While 2005B has a very creative way of getting up that side channel. We got a, just under a minute left in this match. Dry balls going everywhere. Hearts going everywhere. <laughs> Dry balls flying out of the field. All right, with 35 seconds left in the match, there is a lot of pushing and shoving going on. There are try balls everywhere. We've got two try balls going here. You got to. All right, two triple zero five B is upside down. Still trying to drive around. with two seconds left. That was quite the match. All right. Excellent work, teams. Just wait a moment while our scorekeepers do their thing. We've got some results from semifinals one, the Red Alliance of Wise Guys and String Theory, all the way from Thetford Center, Vermont. Taking that win with 122 over the Blue Alliance's 72 with Team 4886Y, Yogurt, and 2005E, Michael. Excellent, excellent work, all four of those teams. Great job. All right, coming up on semifinals two. Oh, sorry. That was semifinals too. I'm gonna stop reading screens. So after we get this match scored, we will know what our what our final alliances will be. All right, semifinals two.
All right, 93303 R&T take the win. The Red Alliance with 89 over 62, sending two 0005 B and C home all the way to the next building over. All right, we are going to get prepped for the finals. We're going to give the teams five minutes. Going to give the teams in the finals alliances five minutes to get their bots prepped, cool off their motors, check their batteries, et cetera, et cetera. We appreciate you all being here and cheering for these kids. It makes a huge, huge difference in the whole experience. So thank you all so much. While we're waiting for the final, uh, one quick note. Could we have a big round of applause for Mr. Sartori? who not only organizes his team, but he takes on this, as well as his wife, Sarah, who also helps organize this. So a big round of applause and thank you to them for doing this.
right. Okay. All right. We are looking for... All right. Our teams are right over here. Let's get ourselves set up. So we have one finals match left. We're going to be right here on this first field. Finals match one of one with the school partnerships of 4886W and S as our Red Alliance and 93303R and T as our Blue Alliance. Ready to compete. This is going to be it. Teams are getting ready. These are very capable teams. So we should be seeing a very, very exciting match. We hope to see a very exciting match. All right. We're all getting very good at counting to 22. I've done it so many times today, and I seem to not be getting any better at it myself. Excellent. Good lucks all around. Half of each team is plugged in and ready. All right, we are almost there. All right, we have got four ready robots. Before we go into these finals, once again, we've got 4886W, the wise guys. Let's make some noise for all these teams. 4886S, String Theory, coming here all the way from Thetford Center, Vermont. Then on the Blue Alliance, we've got 93303R, Dilophosaurus, and 93303T, No Expectations. All right, this is it. Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? Glasses on your faces. Wonderful. All right. We are going to go autonomous in three, two, one, go. All four robots with autonomous routines. All right, they're all in, so that's a tie for Autonomous. Here we go. We got driver control in. Three, two, one, go. Nine three three oh three T going in for the block. Can they stay tall enough to do it? While the other two bots battle it out for cry balls on the side. Oh, we've got a tank tread dropping. Unsure what that's going to impact.
All right, there's good teamwork going on on both sides here. 93303T working that blocking wall. Excellent run from the Red Alliance for that goal with 30 seconds left in the match. Both teams coordinating well, planning their last attack. Ten seconds left in the match. Oh, last minute elevation attempt. Excellent game. Let's get a round of applause for them while our scorekeepers do their work. In just a moment, we will announce the winner of the tournament. We will also introduce our three fine judges who will be giving away some hardware. All right, I believe we have the final scores. I think we do. There we go, 63 to 33. The Red Alliance of Wise Guys and String Theory from Thetford Center, Vermont takes the win. Congratulations as well to the Blue Alliance of 933-03R&T, who also did an excellent job. All right, give us a couple of moments. We are gonna get our judges out here.
All right, thank you again for all of your patience. We like to try to make a big deal out of all this, and we want to make it all right. I want to briefly introduce our three judges, and then one of them will be giving out the, the various judge-based awards. Um, our judges, we have Gary Golnick right here. We have Dr. Yvette Emery. We have Dr. Warren Ziegler. And many of you met this wonderful team. This is the second and third time that a couple of them have judged for us, and um, we're really, really excited to have them back. And I know they have a lot of good things to say about you. So they will be giving the, uh, the Judges Award and the Design Award. Then we'll do Skills and Tournament Champions. And then we'll have the Excellence Awards after that. And we have two Excellence Awards because we have middle school and high school here. We did, however, run out of trophies so I made what I could for the Middle School Excellence Award, and I will send metal plates for the Middle School Excellence Award as soon as I can get another set of them. Anyway, so without further ado, Gary Golnick. All right, so the uh, Judges Award was a very tough call for us. And since there's only one uh, trophy to give out, we can't give out two, but we wanted to uh, give an honorable mention Shout out to Team 7831B. We were closely in contention for the Judges Award. The Judges Award, if you could give them a hand of applause. And the Judges Award goes to Team 93303Y, as in Yankee. Okay, and the uh, design award goes to team 93303X, X as in X-ray. All right, so now we're going to do the, the tournament, the competition awards. And we're going to start off with the skills, robot skills champion from today, which goes to Team 4886S String Theory. Thetford cleaning it up. Didn't get a chance to see those skills runs. It, they were quite impressive. All right. And now, two trophies for our tournament champions today. 4886W Wise Guys, and once again, String Theory, Team 4886S. Excellent, excellent work. All right, next up, we're going back to the judges and we're gonna be doing the Middle School Excellence Award. This is the one where I owe you a metal plaque instead of a Yellow printed one with a P-Touch labeler. Here we go. All right. The uh, middle school award goes to team 7831E, as in Edward.
finally, last but certainly not least, the High School Excellence Award goes to Team 93303R, as in Robert. All right. Oh, yeah, there are more photos for you guys. All right. And with that, that wraps up today's tournament. I cannot thank everybody enough, all of the volunteers, all of the staff, um, Hunter and Anthony, our judges. This is a massive volunteer effort, so thank you all for being here. We appreciate you. Drive home safely. Please try not to take any tri balls that say rim on them. That would be awesome. We need all of them. And we'll see you, see you in York.